Hello there, my name is Dr. Anton Jessup, curator of monster studies here at the university. As you can see, my recovery process continues, and I've decided to augment my consumption of noxodomil laced drinking water with a little video game R&R. Now, I have to admit, I simply do not have the temperament for these arcade games, but I do love the monsters, especially this Baraka chap a Tarkatan warrior with a penchant for dismemberment. The Tarkatans are a brutal species, the product of hellish evolution in the twisted outworld. Each specimen is a bipedal slashing machine, complete with razor-sharp teeth, spikes, and a pair of retractable blades that extend from each forearm like organic switchblades. An exceedingly warlike organism, the Tarkatans seem to delight only in mutilation and death. Yet if we are to apply the model of natural world biology to our understanding of these nomadic monsters, we must look not to their war waging, but to their lovemaking. Yes, dim the lights, my darlings, because we're going to talk about sex. Yes, that powerful force, the continual... Imagine live your life within the framework of a rational, purpose-built universe, rather than the... Daily ...drives the evolution of many strange and dangerous biological adaptations. And I feel this lecture might have particular resonance with members of the university swim team as I am told high levels of noxodomil in the aquatic center are causing many a strange boost to libido. Yes, it seems Tarkatan forearm spikes, including the retractable blade, originally evolved as a means of anchoring to a mate during copulation. Over time, the use of these spikes in male-to-male -male combat usurped the original purpose, which is why male Tarkatans often boast obscenely enormous forearm blades compared to the smaller spikes of rarely glimpsed females. The Japanese autumn frog offers our best natural world comparison. The males fight intensely with each other over territory and mating rights, grappling and stabbing each other with sharp, retractable spines that protrude through the flesh of their pseudo-thumbs. Dr. Noriko Iwai of the University of Tokyo believes these spines initially aided the male autumn frog in anchoring to the female for mating, but according to his 2012 study published in the Journal of Zoology, the spines eventually evolved into pure weaponry via the intense arms race of mating competition. And who knows, perhaps we can also attribute such development to other bone claw wielding wild men, to say nothing of those gorgeous sideburns. Yes, no matter how murderous the morphology, the core genetic program is always the same. Consume, survive, reproduce. Now, Maxwell, how do I do this again? It's uh, up, up, down, down, back, forward, back, forward, B, A. 